Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today we're doing the one chip challenge. Except that'd be a total waste of time, really. I think if you're gonna challenge yourself, especially if it's supposed to be like pain generating, you might you should get some benefit out of it. I think. I, I think it's just a waste of time. It's just I hurt myself. Good for you. Great. So we are gonna do a challenge though. Uh, it's not gonna be the one chip challenge, although we're gonna we're gonna eat these at the end. Don't you worry, we are gonna eat these. Um, it's gonna be the garlic clove challenge and I mentioned that you should get some benefit out of what you're doing. Well, uh, there have only been two periods in my life when I have gone through multiple seasons of cold and flu season and now COVID season as well, uh, when I haven't gotten a cold or a flu or lately COVID. Only two periods in my entire life where I haven't gotten that. I, I, I don't know, I've got really kind of a crappy immune system, I think. Uh, also probably crappy lifestyle uh, habits. Um, maybe I was exposing myself a lot. Well, the only two periods where I've ever not gotten sick for multiple years in a row uh, is recently when we started doing respirators and distancing and all that kind of stuff that isn't supposed to actually work, but works totally well. Actually, it works better than the vaccine in our uh, experience, you know, 100% effective, I'm just saying. Uh, and the other pe uh, time period in my life when I was still going out, you know, like people were like sneezing in their hands and I'm like rubbing their hands in my face and all that kind of stuff, really bad uh, lifestyle choices, but I still didn't get sick, was when I was in the habit of eating garlic every day before I went out into public. If I'm at home, I didn't bother doing it, but I would eat a clove of raw garlic every time I went out before work. and. For the entire season, I didn't get sick. Totally unprecedented until recently when we started doing all the COVID stuff. Now there are potentially many reasons why that might be the case. Uh, one could be that you smell like garlic so people don't want to be near you, but I don't care necessarily why it is. Definitely worked for me, always getting sick. Do this, sickness stopped for an entire year, went back to not doing this kind of thing and got sick again. It really seems like it's worked, uh, works for me. So I'm gonna try it. Uh, but to make it interesting, Amber's going to try it as well. I'm kind of used to doing this, so you're not going to get like that one chip challenge kind of reaction from me. Uh, but Amber hasn't done it before. So uh, I'm going to coach you guys through doing it. Uh, if you have a raw clove of garlic, you can do it uh, with us at the same time. You pause the video right here. Okay, and now we're back. So uh, you, when you get your clove of garlic, you're, not, you're going to want to take all the paper off. And I usually take off the roots, you know, at the end it's that hard part with the roots. So I kind of shave it down to there. But otherwise, it's the entire clove of garlic. And here's the secret weapon right here is some juice, some kind of a strong tasting something or other. I don't think water would work really well. It's really got to have kind of its own, its own flavor to it. So uh, here's what we do. But before we begin, I should say definitely don't do this. Uh, you know, safety precautions, wear safety glasses. Uh, you know, you're going to choke if you do this. Don't do this. You know, medical advice, whatever. You know, don't do what I'm doing. But, you know, if you want, you know, it's your life. Do what you want. Um, okay, so I'm not going to bite this and then wash it down with the juice. Here's the trick here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to explain it first because in a moment I won't be able to speak uh, without making like a comedy show in my shirt. Uh, I'm gonna take a drink and have my mouth be kind of full of juice, not to the point where it's like, if someone like made me laugh, I'd like spray the camera, but like, you know, a decent mouth of juice. And then I'm gonna put the garlic up to my lips and kind of push it into my mouth uh, where it's like the juice isn't coming out, but I get my teeth around it. I'm gonna bite a few little pieces off. You know, pieces that are smaller than like, you know, something you might swallow, like vitamins or something like that. So I'm gonna be nibbling off a few pieces uh, to the point where it feels like it's not too much in my mouth, and then I just swallow the whole thing, and then repeat. So here we go, so. Shall I do the demonstration of what not to do? Just bite right into <laughs> we'll it. We'll see, might be a cautionary tale. Okay, so uh, first we're gonna take a drink. And I don't really even taste the garlic. I mean, there's a little bit in there, but when you bite into a clove of garlic, there's all those oils that are in there and they get all over your mouth, all over your tongue. If you pre-bathe your mouth in something else, it just, it doesn't happen. It's much more pleasant. So if you want to yeah, give it a try, okay. I'm going to go again. We'll be going at the same time. There you go. No, no real. I mean, there's a little, a little bit of garlic tingle on my tongue. How are you? I'm suffering. <laughs> really? What, now, did you fill your mouth with juice first? 
What's the way you're doing it the way you're not supposed to do it? I'm demonstrating why you should. Okay, well, let's try it the real way now. Okay, so fill your mouth full of juice. Did you eat the whole garlic? Yes. Do you want to try it to this one or another one? I think I'm good. What's really disappointing? We'll get to see. I'll just do it again. Here you go. So, again, mouth full of juice. Okay, and you see, I've done it three times and I still got some garlic left there. So I'm not killing myself. I'm making it less painful, but I'm still achieving something. So it's kind of like <clears throat> the one chip challenge, except that you aren't getting hurt and you're getting something positive out of it. So in a way, it's kind of like the opposite of like these stupid challenges that are all over the internet. I'm just going to finish this thing up. I could almost swallow that whole, but I think I'd like cough and gag if I tried. So I'm going to chew it up. I think just eating the of garlic as it is is fine as long as you do have <coughs> juice it wasn't that bad yeah i mean you get that like kind of poke at your tongue and everything like that so anyway uh, eating raw cloves of garlic for me in my experience was a way of going from always getting sick every cold and flu season to getting no colds no flus and doing all the same kind of stuff so i mean that's that's not like scientifically conclusively proven. I'm only one data point, uh, but it's like, you know, I started doing it, didn't get sick, stopped doing it, went back to getting sick. Uh, and you know, at the very least, garlic is good for you. It's a healthy food. So to, uh, to wash it down, why don't we kind of just eat these one chips <laughs> and uh, you know, I've only seen one one chip challenge video. It was with Canadian pepper, and this honestly, it's the only reason I even know there was a one chip challenge. Is he did it, and uh, I'm not criticizing him for doing it. I mean, it was entertaining enough, but I don't know. If you're gonna do something that's hard or painful, it's like you should get something out of it. Like you know, I'm hurting myself all the time. Like you know, I. I I'm chopping firewood when my like like a sprained shoulder and it hurts and I injure myself. So I'm I'm not against injuring oneself or you know being in pain, but uh, I don't know. You should get something out of it. I don't know. It's like modern culture. It's like they they dis, they kind of disassociated the idea of like effort and pain being towards a goal. You know, I don't know. It's like they just live their lives in this bubble and it's like, I hear the pain's supposed to be good for you, so I'll like hurt myself for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> yes, try eating garlic. At the very least, it's a healthy food. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.